Today is September 8th. It's Friday. The year is 2023. I am making a right turn onto National Highway from Zambongita Tambobo Bay Canyon Drive in Negros Island in the Philippines, Occidental. Slightly overcast. So it was already sprinkling a little bit this morning. Humidity is above average. Um, this is the uh, typhoon season between already been the summertime is basically the typhoon season in uh, the northern hemisphere and uh, that includes Asia and the, uh, the West Pacific off of Japan and Philippines has the most typhoons of any other ocean in the world during the summer months also known as the typhoon season similar to the Pacific coast off of Mexico and the Atlantic coast and the Gulf of Mexico off of the eastern American and Mexican seaboard this year hasn't been too bad so far but it's not over until another three more months we have to go these are the worst months September October and November after November 21st, um, we should, uh, that's, that's statistically when things get uh, a lot safer to be sailing in the ocean. But we're here safe in Tambobo Bay, and uh, we're a little bit below the typhoon belt as well, so we should be protected. Although, even when there is a passing typhoon, um, everybody needs to really take all safety measures to protect the boat. And um, so we are, we are on alert, we're vigil, we're prepared for, for that situation to come. today I usually pick my mom up on Tuesdays and Fridays and those are our days to go from the small village that we're living into Dumaguete which is uh, the main town in this general region of Negros Island and Dumaguete is a fantastic town it's um, a buzzing got a, a buzzing uh, energetic energy to it, uh, youthful energy to it. It's the uh, capital of universities in the Philippines. It has the best and the most universities in the Philippines. So that, uh, that has many benefits to it. Uh, it creates a nice environment, a good, a fresh, young, uh, smart, uh, city environment You can see more like tech startup businesses and uh, Pretty savvy business businesses and young So we, we enjoy that. It's nice to go into the get my mom goes to Starbucks uh, We do shopping there we do uh, dental health appointments um, It's also a place where I'll buy materials for my boat Especially now that I have another project boat that I'm restoring, so I'll buy resins and epoxies and fiberglass and silicone and tools, uh, etc. Um, I recently bought a welder. Uh, so that's all exciting. It's fun to learn the, the Asian. Um, resources like what do they have here for the 
same solutions that I would do something in Los Angeles. How do they do it here? What are the materials? What are the resources? And uh, most, mostly, it's it's uh, a lot more efficient resources. And, and uh, I love, uh, you know, they they they're they're, they're very in, ingenious here. They'll make things uh, rather than buy replacement parts. And so that's that's the culture that you have here, which I love much more sustainable type of culture and more affordable as well so I enjoy being able to to do things myself and see how it's done and to do it cheaper and, uh, and so that's that's always nice to have that Asian ingenuity to learn about that I just met a friend on, on the way over today his name is um, Eric, and he's from Belgium. He sailed a boat from Europe to here, the Philippines, back in the in the seventies. And he was telling me about. I met him at the local bar where everyone hangs out on Wednesdays and Fridays. And uh, interesting, super interesting guy. This guy Eric. He sailed over from Europe, from Belgium. He had to. He said he had to get out. Same as I, I had to get out of Los Angeles. I just needed to spread my wings and fly away and see the world. He had that same wanderlust. And he made his way out of sailboat all the way to the Philippines. And he got here like in the 80s, early 80s. And uh, he bought a piece of land and he's been here ever since. And he has a really interesting company that he does here where they work with solar panels and they pump water into reservoirs and so they store the water and this is a way to use, utilize the sun's energy to power the, the pumps, the water pumps that pump the, the, the water into the reservoirs and then they don't need the batteries. They only have small batteries just to kind of, just to run the solar panels and the, and the, uh, and the electrical system, small, small batteries, but instead of using the storing the UV energy they're not doing that they're storing the water as energy and uh, it's a beautiful uh, it's a beautiful uh, solution especially a place like the Philippines where there's lots of lots of so solar lots of water lots of um, natural raw land where, where irrigation is the is the key to having a productive land. And so there's a beautiful solution to, to, to use solar panels to uh, utilize the UV energy and not have to store the energy with expensive batteries, but with cheap plastic water reservoirs. Uh, so yeah, I just went to his, uh, his property and I saw he had a nice office. And I liked the, how he kind of used his European um, education. And it was um, a kind of a European style office. Very broad wall, white walls and a nice, kind of a studious place. It felt nice, it felt relaxing. It felt like you could, you could really think in those, in that facility. And so um, I visited him and he showed me his, his property. They also do, um, what do they say? Like some botany. They also have like a nursery there where they have trees. Across from him is a, a Swedish research uh, business where they bring people in overseas and they have uh, they, they go diving in the ocean, but then they bring back the results to the property and analyze the results. They're just such interesting things. It really is. It's nice to be connected with these people I'm learning new things and and it just you know who knows where that can go this is fascinating I would love to be a part of all that all right well I think I said enough for my journal entry this morning it's nice just to kind of slowly warm up to the day in my brain working we have a dental appointment at 1230 
I don't really trust this dentist. We had three fillings. They all fell out, but that was because it was a younger dentist, kind of the, the, the trainee. But then I had another filling done by the senior dentist, which it has held on. But I'm just reluctant to go in there. I think I'm gonna go in there and talk to the dentist to see why did those cavities fall out within a week? Is it the material they're using or was it because the young trainee did, didn't apply it correctly? So I gotta get ready to, to, to talk to, this, to that senior doctor and figure it out. And I even might not even uh, use them. And I might, I might just decide to, to not have our teeth worked on in this, in this uh, dental office because I'm not sure I feel safe but it's just another decision to make in the daily life, the daily life.